if you are looking to run AI models side by side, then you're in the right place. We are going to have a look at LM Studio. We're also going to have a look at Open Web UI. We want to know which option is the better option, what features they offer, and why you should be using them right now today. So without further ado, let's check them out. So with LM Studio, uh, which is a local AI powered assistant, you can actually run powerful language models directly on your own machine. This means that there's no internet required, okay? Um, it supports GGUF models like Llama, Mistral, and Gemma from Hugging Face. You can actually chat through the app or you can even connect it via an API. You can see over here some of its um, other features is a built-in model discovery. So you can actually browse and download models directly from Hugging Face, which means there's no manual configuration that is required. Also means that there's no technical experience required. It has a one-click API server, so you can actually set up an open AI compatible interface um, instantly. So it also integrates with your existing apps, which of course is awesome. And it has a command line power. So you can actually use CLI and headless operation for automation. It's perfect for developers and power users. Let's have a look at Open Web UI. It is a self-hosted AI companion. So it delivers a powerful self-hosted AI platform that works completely offline while supporting local model switching and open AI compatible APIs. You can compare multiple AI models side by side to find the perfect solution for your very specific needs. You can also see that you can deploy via Docker, Kubernetes, Podman or even Helm charts within minutes. The guided setup wizard can help you create your admin account very quickly. And it has a responsive design which works on all devices from desktop, depending on what operating system you're using, as well as mobile. Its progressive web app features enable offline access on mobile devices as well. The last thing over here, you can see it has custom prompts. Um, you can build and organize a personal collection of prompts for quick access and consistent results. You can upload files for AI analysis with RAG support and integrated reference management. And you can also configure granular permissions, user groups and secure workspaces for team collaboration. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There are so many options available. There's tons of software available. There's so many apps available. It's easy to get lost. My advice is always to go and try two or three or four options and see what actually works best for your specific use case. Actually use it and see what actually is the right option. I hope this was helpful. If it really was, you can help the channel out by hitting the subscribe button. You can help us get to 10,000 subs. We'll see you in another awesome video.